What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Made in Abyss. Today we are doing season two, episode four. Do I have the title for this one? Yup, it is called Friend. So I don't know if that has to do with Waco's group or if that has to do with Rico, Reg, and Nanachi. I know we're meeting Faputa, the princess of the hollows. So I'm very excited, very curious how much we're gonna be cutting back between like our two different groups and our timelines. I wanna see the past so much, it's not even funny. But with that being said, if you guys wanna see the full uncut version of this episode or early access and uncut to the other shows I'm watching on the channel, check out that Patreon down below. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure to leave a like and let me know your, th let me know your thoughts down below. Let's hop right on into this Made in Abyss season two, episode four. Friends, let's do it. Looks like we got Big Daddy and Faputa. Looks like he has a TNT detonator on his head. I don't know what that is. My goal has appeared. Forearms, high body temperature, the scent of the sun. Yeah, I would agree. In terms of sentience and intellect. We're having fleeting memories. Is that why this title is called Friend? Don't like lots of eyes. So she's somewhat nervous or shy or... The abilities she has are exponential and amazing. Be able to cloak yourself in that fur and then just... What? Okay, so it's not what Rico inherently said. So the village has a way of knowing the value. Even deeper? I see. That is so interesting. I'm so curious to know more. Bailoff of the way. Hold on. What did he just say? Bailoff is one of the ones we know from Waco's group. Even though Bailoff of the Three Sages is using her. Friend? Oh. Okay. Sure. We're really reg. What are you going to check, specifically? They're talking about his wiener, huh? Oh no, something else, okay. Too many times in the show people looked at Reg's wiener. That was when Bond drew. Oh, oh, I hated that. It's so handy having two extra arms to just do that. What the hell are these disjointable joints? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What are you doing? Y yep. You're reg. Okay. Okay. This is not... I always feel bad for Reg how much experimenting and just personal space he gets invaded all the time. This is more along the lines of what I was expecting. Because Rico, get I didn't even think of that. Wait a second. Yeah, I never even put two and two together. I need to know more. I'm so ugh. I'm right on the, the edge. I'm teetering on getting more info, trying to put this together. You think she was enchantingly beautiful? Okay. I do love I love getting some solo reg monologues. It's it's very rare that we get to just deal with him and him alone. Oh, 
I know. I'm equally as nervous, excited, curious, but that is a beautiful shot. Okay, what? How are you gonna go from such a- to this? Imagine you take a shit in the toilet and say, oh yeah, give me that, buddy. Give me that. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, she is of high value. I was just like, maybe they'll help her out. They're just looking her direction, but I do not like the way they emphasize the way they're looking at her right there. Okay. We got Rico doing her own thing, Reg doing his own thing, Nanachi doing her own thing as well. Modima. They sound like Majikaja. Madimo. I need to, we just need to learn their language. I know it's super rough, but if anyone can do it, it would be Rico. Senkuro. Is that Majikaja's house? Did they lead her into something? I don't like this. No, don't pull us in. Rico, start immediately running away, please. Nah, I don't like this at all. They said human little girls are like the most whatever adjective <laughs> Majikaja used to describe. If I have to watch Mania go through something again, like they better stop. The thing that got balanced last time. Ooh! Fucking Falcon punched that thing. Saving Mania this time? Okay. Who's being balanced? Is it the thing that saved Mania or the thing that kind of damaged Mania? Can you run away from this balancing? I don't think so. All of them? Why? What the fuck am I watching, guys? I, I really don't know what to call it. Yeah, is very distressed. Ma. We can see that Ma is very distressed. Shouts out Rico. I like the way he kind of waddles. If he didn't puncture Mania last episode, I would be way cooler with Ma, but I'm still nervous of everything. It's a good question. Um, yeah, we'll take the hollow fried rice with a side of hollow rolls. Technically, you're right. In terms of a <laughs> biological standpoint, I get that. I guess so. I guess you pop it and break it and... Roasted testicle. She can. S yes. That's Big Oon over there. What's up, Big Oon? How you doing? So that was roasted testicle. That's Wazukion? Wait. Bailoff. So we're going to see Bailoff and that's. What the hell? So the only one we're missing is Vueko. We have Bailoff, Wazukion, and. This is Bela? What the hell? I am beyond perplexed. Obviously, they're sentient in terms of the stuff they know because the restaurant keeper just said Wazukion. Wait. Wait a second. How? I was so sad and so happy when we finally were able to kill Mitty. This is Voiko. She is the balancing? Don't end it right here, please. Don't end it right. This show has a special talent of giving me just like the utmost teases of answers without giving me anything. So, 
correct me if I'm wrong, the two of the three sages of Ganja are Wazukian and Baloth, right? Did we ever meet the third? Was Waco the third? I know they had another shipmate named Yo Yomi or Jomi. And I think he was like shipwrecked something. I, I'm trying to remember episode one. I might need to rewatch it, you know, some reactions or something. But in terms of each individual character's little story, Rico, Reg, and Nanashi all had some crazy developments this episode. And I love how they were all separated and they all had developments. We had Reg with Faputa and Big Daddy. And Faputa knows Reg before Rico did. He was on this layer. They were friends, apparently. She called him Reg and Sosu. And then I didn't even put it together. I'm like, yeah, how would she know his name is Reg if his name was Reg before he was named Reg? So very curious about that. Very curious about Big Daddy and how I think we're going to get the answers, but how Vueko, Wazukian, Bailoff, and Faputa went from how we see them just now getting into layer six versus where they're at now. I need that entire story. I really do. So we have that. Faputa is super interesting just in terms of her powers. Like forearms can grow, disjoint, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Crazy strong. I really like that and the creativity with her powers. But then we have Bailoff, who's like a serpentile robot dragon literally looks like something i would see at a Yu-Gi-Oh gx i swear to god but bailoff is with mitty who when mitty or when nanachi was talking to majikaja he was like mitty yes that warm piece of curse that the masked man left behind is that signifying that when you die or like, how did Mitty get here? Last we saw Mitty, she was eviscerated, evaporated by disintegrated. I'm just trying to look for correct adjectives to use. Um, by Reg's blaster, by Reg's incinerator. And we always assumed that was putting her out of her misery, you know, giving her this, the only death we could ever give her. But now she's down here on layer six. That's two layers down because we were layer four when we did that. And did Bondrude himself, like, did she sp respawn back at Bondrude's and then Bondrude took her down? Or did, she... but no, I doubt, no. So, like, I'm so curious. And then we have Rico's story with Ma and the balancing, trying to find Reg and Nanachi. I get that completely, but then that leads to us seeing Wazukian at the restaurant with other people who, other hollows who speak our language leading us to then Majikaja and Bailoff, but also Vueko, who is what seems to be communicating or friends with the balancing goo, the sentientness of that, which I don't know if they grew, the, the goo itself grew sentient after absorbing hollows, if Vueko is controlling it. I do think Vueko is controlling it, but then why is she like petting it as if like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's so, I, I need answers. I need answers so bad. It's not even... Funny how much I need answers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out the Patreon for the full and all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.